TikTok is absolutely exploding with videos about Eugenia Cooney. Eugenia Cooney is a 29-year-old influencer who first got her start on YouTube back in 2011. Since then, she has 2.3 million followers on TikTok and 2.1 million on YouTube. Now, Eugenia allegedly suffers from an ED, and most recently, fans have been blowing up her comment section as well as stitching her videos, urging her to seek professional help before things get worse. Today, another video. I wish I could tell you that I was surprised, but I'm not. Yet again, saw her on live last night, laughing and giggling and think it's so funny that people are trying to get her to get recovery and to get help. She literally said, I don't want your help, nor do I need and was saying how irritating it is that people are commenting on her lives and how frustrating it is and she's just fine and we need to move on. Girl, look at yourself. Not all of us want you to hurt. We want you to live. Please, get help. I'm so sorry that they forced you in the past, and that's not the way to do it, but you've got to do it. You have got to do it before it's too late, because it's close to that time. We'll see what tomorrow brings. She recently posted a TikTok that got 75 million views that caused an uproar in her comment section. One user commented, we just counting down the days at this point. Another said, this is really going to be the end and we're just watching. You're so beautiful. I wish you could see Over it. Over 330k in likes, we all have failed. Now, Eugenia didn't always look like this, and four years ago, she posted this video to YouTube. Was in treatment, and um, even like after that, to just like kind of take some time for myself and like to, um, you know, try to take better care of myself, because I think for a while, I really wasn't, and sometimes not even, I wasn't even like realizing at all, like how bad things were getting, and. Fans are also extremely upset with Eugenia's mother. When confronted about her health, this is how she responds. How is your your mom okay watching you wilt away? She's not. My mom lives with me. She knows that I'm fine. I know she eats. She takes good care of herself. Exactly. See? Exactly. She happens to be skinny mini, but she does take Exactly. Mini, We're all different. But she does take good care of herself. Exactly. I see her not being around too much longer, especially if she has a mother that lives with her and could really give to about her all right and i said what i said because if her mom really did care about her for one she would tell eugenia to take a step back from streaming online because the comments that she gets are out of pocket now while most people feel bad for her some people have had enough my heart hurts for this girl but at the same time she's almost 30 years old she knows exactly what she's doing she knows exactly what gets her the views which means she knows exactly what makes her money and I'm not sure I'm a fan of using a deadly mental illness as a business. The Daily Mail put out this article just three days ago titled, Should Social Media Giants Be Allowed to Profit from YouTube? Celebrities such as Eugenia Cooney, who are clearly unwell. When I was discharged from the hospital eight years ago after treatment, the departing words of the psychiatrist were, stop scrolling through pictures of skinny girls on social media. It was a habit I'd picked up at the height of my disorder, which I suffered in my early 20s. My illness was never about aspiring to be a certain body image. It was more of a search for control. But seeing young women with similarly malnourished bodies living glamorous, successful lives assured me I was fine and that I didn't need to eat. I stuck to this rule until about a week ago when I began to review videos posted by a hugely popular internet star called Eugenia Cooney. I'd been aware of her for years, but I had avoided looking. I knew that what I'd see would worry me. On paper, it might seem innocuous. Los Angeles-based Eugenia, 29, shares fashion and makeup tips, or simply chats about her life in clips watched by her YouTube followers. There's another 2 million on TikTok, 700,000 on Instagram, and 440,000 on live streaming platform Twitch. But she is shockingly underweight. It is clear to see as she often dresses in clothes that reveal her thin frame such as crop tops, short skirts, and spaghetti strap dresses. The image we have printed here of Eugenia has been carefully selected as the least graphic to comply with strict media guidelines, but that's exactly what is being viewed by Eugenia's mass following. It's important to mention that Eugenia doesn't speak about her body or her diet, but it's impossible to ignore the way she looks. As far back as 2013, when she began posting on YouTube, people with comments expressing concern. 
There were even petitions calling for her to be banned by social media platforms to force her to seek help. Eugenia did receive treatment in 2019 after an apparent intervention from worried friends. Later that year, she admitted to having an during an interview with another YouTuber named Shane Dawson, a clip that has since been watched more than 30 million times. Dr. Ashish Kumar, chair of the faculty of EDs at the Royal College of Psychiatrics, says critically low weights put patients at a high risk of death due to potential organ failure, usually requiring a hospital admission. This then begs the question, should the social media platforms take responsibility and remove Eugenia until she gets better? I am of course not suggesting that people with EDs should not have a job or be in the public eye. I worked as a journalist throughout most of my illness, but there's good evidence that sharing images that make severe EDs appear normal or even glamorous are potentially harmful to others suffering with the illness or those vulnerable to developing them. And there's also the ethical question, is it acceptable that social media giants profit from a young woman who is so clearly unwell? Content creators on these platforms earn an income via a 50% cut in advertising revenue and paid for subscriptions. Given the vast number of views Eugenia rakes in for every clip or live stream, she makes as much as 7,250 pounds a month from Twitch and between 500 and 800 from YouTube, according to online calculators. Now, they don't have her TikTok income on here, but I can tell you just from how she's getting millions and millions and millions of views, she is making bank on TikTok as well. Instagram and TikTok told the Mail on Sunday they would not remove any of Eugenia's posts because they did not violate their guidelines. But TikTok also claims it won't allow content showing or promoting EDs or any dangerous weight loss behaviors. Now, according to Eugenia's comments on TikTok, she was verified and they have removed her blue check mark. Honestly, what has social media done to us as a society? It's like suddenly everything has become about aesthetic and who looks the best and who's living the best life. Everyone acknowledges that social media is fake, but it's like we're caught in this never ending cycle of comparing ourselves to others and trying to achieve a lifestyle that is honestly unattainable. Eugenia is a beautiful girl and I sincerely hope she gets the help she I've needs. I've stayed silent on Eugenia Cooney for years now. And that's mainly because I have like a general policy that I don't talk about people's bodies. I only address the potentially problematic behaviors that they share and promote. And Eugenia specifically is a really interesting case because, you know, even though her body is very likely triggering for a lot of people, as evidenced by a lot of her comment sections, she doesn't explicitly promote specific problematic behaviors, even if to so many people it's implied. But you know, I thought about this case a lot. And again, I'm not going to pile onto her as so many on the internet have. I am, however, just really ashamed of us all as a society. We have really, really let this girl down. This video has 64 million views and 2 million likes. 2 million likes. There are 2 million people upregulating the social media algorithms that get this girl more engagement, more viewership, more fans, etc. And this is not good for vulnerable viewers, and it's definitely not good for her. You know, I lived in a body that was taken over by an ED. And so I know how I interpreted positive reinforcement. The likes, the followers, even the comments expressing obvious concern, all of those can be equated with success. That the smaller my body, that the further I push, the more love and attention I receive. So Eugenia, I just want to say that I'm really, really sorry. I am sorry that all of us watching around the world and even in your own home, like the person behind the camera who's supposed to love and protect you, We've all let you down. And the repercussions might be cataclysmic. And only then will we actually see the damage that this whole social media monster can do. And we are all part of it. So to anyone watching my video, even if you are Eugenia's number one fan, help her by reporting her content. And I say this with absolute love and concern for her. Help her by asking the social media algorithms to stop reinforcing to others and to her that this is what the world wants of her. And Eugenia, I don't know you. I'm not your dietitian. I'm obviously like not your friend. I've never met you, but I can identify with a lot of the things I've heard you say in the past. 
my voice sounded a lot like yours. And it takes an enormous amount of bravery to choose life and choose recovery and choose to show up for yourself every day. And this place, like this toxic social media space that we are occupying is not worth your beautiful life. So if you see this, please contact me. I would love to extend an olive branch to help you find the people who can actually help support you rather than just feed you to the proverbial wolves. So no strings attached. Please message me, Eugenia, even if it's just to catch up and chat. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share.